What is compare and contrasting? Compare and contrast are ways of analyzing ideas and concepts and determining their similarities or differences. In comparing, you identify the similarities between other objects or events. For instance, apples and bananas are both fruits. Whereas contrasting involves comparing two or more things, ideas, and events to show their differences. For example, an apple has thin edible skin, a banana has a thick skin that we can't eat. Therefore, a compare and contrast comparative essay analyze two or more subjects by pointing out their similarities and differences. When writing this essay, you should focus on the unexpected differences and similarities between the two subjects. This essay clears the confusion between two things or concepts often lumped together or seen differently. If given a comparative writing assignment you can't handle, you can request our compare and contrast essay writing help. Our services are legit and reliable. How to write a compare and contrast essay. If you know how to write an essay, these tips won't sound strange to you. A comparative essay is similar to other papers, like a descriptive and persuasive essay. Take a look at the steps to follow when writing a comparative essay. 1. Choose a topic, pick a topic that has ideas that you can compare and contrast. For example, when examining an opinion on politics, you should compare and contrast it with the opposite of that idea. Therefore, pick a topic that you can explore two sides and get more content, too. List the features, analyze your idea, objects, or events by listing their characteristics. List all the similarities that come to mind about the two things. Also, list the differences between the two ideas. Concentrate on the features that the concepts share or those that are opposing, so, your points should be clear and factual without preference on either side. If the similarities are more than the differences, it's best to focus on them. Additionally, if the distinctions get more than the similarities, your essay should focus on this. 3. Organize your ideas, you can't discuss all the similarities and differences in your list. So, it's best to choose a few important points. Concentrate on the most unique and those that are interesting even to your audience. Those points that can spark more debate about the subject are the best. 4. Gather supporting evidence, you can't rely on your ideas or knowledge. Research is fundamental to getting facts and supporting evidence from scholars. Do sufficient research on the concept to find all the statistics, expert opinions, and relevant compare and contrast essay examples. Evidence is crucial in any essay, especially the informative one. The evidence makes your argument convincing and you become authoritative to your audience. Use personal experiences, books, scholarly articles, magazines, and newspapers to make your points credible. 5. Develop your thesis. A thesis is the key focus of your essay, and it's necessary for this comparative essay. Your statement can take several directions in a compare and contrast essay. But it's always best to base the thesis on the subject's significance and not show some bias in the discussion. A complex thesis statement usually includes both similarities and differences. 6. Use linking words and phrases. When you start writing your essay, it's best to use appropriate linking words and phrases to ensure fluency and cohesion. These terms will help your reader understand the connection between your discussion ideas. For example, there are terms best suitable for showing similarities and others for differences. Also, some phrases indicate the flow of ideas within paragraphs. Our experts follow the above writing steps when crafting compare and contrast essays. Therefore, buy a compare and contrast essay from us if you require a well-organized, informative, and quality paper. Compare and contrast essay format or outline, your essay should contain an introduction, body, and conclusion. So, let's learn how to start your essay and write the body and conclusion. Compare and contrast essay introduction, like in a process essay, a comparative introduction contains an overview of the topic. You should explain the compare and contrast essay topics here and give some background information. Sometimes the topics may be more than one where you are discussing several subjects, the introduction should be brief and precise. It should also contain a thesis statement, as discussed in the essay steps, body paragraphs, the body should contain the content of the essay. Discuss the similarities and differences that you choose on the subject. Your paragraphs should be organized with a uniform formula for elaborating the points, 
make sure each paragraph handles a single aspect of the features. For example, if you are highlighting a difference in the size of an object, don't mix it with color. The first line of the paragraph should be the topic sentence. The other two or three lines should explain or offer supporting evidence on the topic sentence. Finally, the last line should conclude the discussion, conclusion, the conclusion should summarize your essay. Give your audience a review of what's discussed in the paper, a compare and contrast essay has different approaches to the topic. You may start with either similarities or differences, a mix of both or more. Thus, as explained below, you must learn how to outline your body and organize your ideas. We have a guide on how to write a conclusion for an essay. How should you outline the comparative essay body? The following are the main ways of structuring your compare and contrast essay. Our structure matches the organizational scheme in this article, alternating method, in this method, you handle all the comparison ideas in one paragraph. This formula means you should explain all the details of a comparison for one subject. Then, the following paragraph should elaborate on the same aspect but on the other subject, so, in short, the first and second paragraphs should handle comparison in one aspect. Then, the third and fourth paragraphs will address the second aspect. Therefore, the alternating idea revolves around the two subjects. NB, it's best to use this method when you require a detailed comparison, and when your comparison points aren't related, mixed method, this method involves discussing the comparison aspect of both subjects in the same paragraph. Thus, you can start explaining the idea on the first subject and finish with the second in the same paragraph, NB. Use this method when you have a long comparative essay, and when dealing with a complex matter that requires close attention, block method, this structure is easy but sometimes a bit risky. Your essay should have two parts. The first section should devote to one thing, and the second part to the other object. So handle all the comparison details of the first object in the first section. Later, explain the second subject's comparison aspects in the second section, however, make sure you are very keen to avoid mixing the ideas. All your explanations in both subjects should follow a specific order for the content's flow and avoid confusing the reader. Apply this method when dealing with a short essay, dealing with simple subjects, dealing with more than two subjects, there is no relation between the two subjects, you want to build your discussion or ideas of subject two from the first. Which are the best compare and contrast essay topics? There are many compare and contrast essay topics you can write on, but you should choose one carefully. We have a list of compare and contrast essay examples topics you can consider, adulthood versus childhood, public versus private versus e-learning, Android versus iOS, which is a leading operating system, who is a marketer and a digital marketer, soccer and football, what is the difference, computer and video games, which is more fun, abolition of slavery in the USA and Europe, reconstruction in America against the industrial age, AI technology versus in-person teaching, on merit scholarships versus financial need grants. Which are the best compare and contrast essay topics? There are many compare and contrast essay topics you can write on, but you should choose one carefully. We have a list of compare and contrast essay examples topics you can consider, adulthood versus childhood, public versus private versus e-learning, Android versus iOS, which is a leading operating system, who is a marketer and a digital marketer, soccer and football, what is the difference, computer and video games, which is more fun, abolition of slavery in the USA and Europe, reconstruction in America against the industrial age, AI technology versus in-person teaching, on merit scholarships versus financial need grants.